Hey everybody, what's up? It's Daniel, back at it again with another video, and uh, today we are going to be checking out the top 5 apps to customize your Android for May 2017. So let's get right into the video. At number 1 we have Screen Lock and App Lock. This is an app by Pingini, and it has two separate functions. It operates as a lock screen replacement that can be customized with different themes, different wallpapers, and just different layouts. And it also has the ability to lock individual apps so that other people can't access them even if they've already unlocked your device. So the app differentiates itself by having several features that make it unique. What they call a genie pad, which is essentially a different layout for the numbers. They say this helps with people being able to see your password but not figure it out because of the way the numbers are set up. And also another feature they have is to catch intruders. It will snap a selfie if someone enters the wrong password more than three times. Both of these features are pretty intriguing and pretty neat and make this app stand out from the rest. I definitely suggest you guys check it out. The link for this app, as all the other apps, will be down in the description. Anyways, let's move on to app number two. For app number two, we have My Clipboard. This is an app that I started using because of the convenience of being able to have a copy history. So what this app does is it saves all the history of you copying anything you do on your system. So when you go in and copy text, it will save and you can go back and look at everything you've copied and share it and upload it to Drive and stuff like that. So you can do things like add favorites and it has the ability to search and import and export all its data. This app also has no ads and will not collect any personal information according to the developer. So those are two nice things always here. Anyways, let's move on to app number three. At app number three, we have Pixel Navigation Bar. This app is very simple and it works for people who have the stock Android navigation bar with no other theme. So if you have a Samsung device or any other skin that has different navigation bar icons, this app will not work for you. And all it does is fill in the navigation buttons to get a Google Pixel look on the device. It has no other purpose other than make your navigation bar look like the Pixel one. I thought it was pretty cool and it just gives it a nice visual aspect so I decided to include it. Anyways, before we move on to the next app, I would like to give a shout out to Slick Wraps for sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't heard of Slick Wraps, they produce skins for a bunch of different electronic devices and a bunch of smartphones. Check them out in the link in the description down below. I personally am rocking a honeycomb skin on my iPhone 7 Plus and a bunch of other skins on my Android devices. So feel free to check them out in the link down below. Anyways guys, and the fourth app we are going to be checking out is called Lookup. So Lookup is a pretty nice app. It's really simple and all it does is it takes the great feature from the iPhone of being able to highlight a word and then look up its definition and it gives you that ability on Android. You select the word whether it's in the browser or somewhere else in another app. You select the little three dot menu that comes up when you get copy and paste and you can just click look up and then a little floating window will pop up with a definition and from there you can choose to just close it or you can copy and paste or share the definition. It's a pretty neat little app to have. It doesn't do very much, but it definitely helps out, especially if you're constantly reading and you don't know some of the big words. Anyways, for our last app, we're going to be checking out Frame Wallpapers. Frame Wallpapers is a very nice app that I think is well designed and provides a lot of quality wallpapers. This app sources its wallpapers from Unsplash and has all of its photos available in really high quality. I like that it has the option to download them in RAW instead of just a compressed high quality image like most other wallpaper apps. And the simplicity of the layout and how easy it is to use and pick a wallpaper and have it set make it an all around enjoyable experience. Currently the wallpaper I am rocking for this video comes from this app so I suggest if you guys like that to check it out in the link down below. Anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it be sure to subscribe and check out our other videos as well as follow us on the social media. All the links for that will be in the description down below. Peace.